In 2019, one half of all the capital raised for private equity that year went to funds of over $5 billion, whereas funds under $1 billion are at a 15-year low. A vast amount of capital is concentrated among a few so-called mega funds. These are well-known names in the, in the industry such as KKR, Carlyle, Blackstone, TPG Group and a handful of others. These funds are active at the very top end of the market doing buyouts of tens of billions of dollars which are invariably very high profile. One of the classic leverage buyout deals was the case of KKR's LBO of RGR Nabisco in 1988. RGR was a giant quoted conglomerate active in food and tobacco with famous brands such as Oreo biscuits and Marlboro cigarettes. It had total sales of $17 billion, was profitable and did not have too much debt on its books. Following a bidding competition against investment bank First Boston and against RGR's own management group, KKR acquired RGR for $112 per share, financed by a complex leverage structure after having made an initial offer of $75 a share. At that time, it was a groundbreaking deal in its size and complexity and inaugurated the period of so-called mega buyouts. The deal also led to a book being published about it called Barbarians at the Gate, inspired from ancient Rome in 401 AD, as well as a film starring James Garner and Jonathan Price. Leverage buyouts still remain somewhat controversial, especially in Europe, to this day because of the debt that is put onto the company as a result of an LBO transaction and the cost-cutting and asset disposal measures which often follow an LBO, leading to the accusation of ruthless cost-cutting and job-cutting up and breaking up companies. Mm -hmm.